Just a couple of notes about that matchup. It's just the fourth time those two teams have met in the semifinals in the conference <coughs> tournament. SIU winning in 83 and 89, and Drake winning in 95, and of course, moments ago. Drake now wins, wins winners of 20 straight games, proves to 25 and 7 overall. We do have Coach Jenny Baranchek, joined by Maddie Dean and Sammy Backroat. Uh, Coach, if you could open up with a statement about the game, and then we'll open it up for questions for the student athletes. You know, honestly, um, that was a great March basketball game, no matter who you're cheering for or who you came to watch or if you just were someone that came into the stands today. I thought there were a lot of players making plays. And, you know, hats off to Southern. I think a couple different things about them. I thought Kylie Gablehausen had a phenomenal career. I know the ball didn't necessarily go in the hole as much for her today, but, man, she had a really, really, really good career. Um, and then they're freshmen. They're, they're good. They have really good young players. They're going to be a team that's going to be – I think really good in the future. Um, so that's really good for our league. And for our team today, I thought that we did a fantastic way of just finding, finding a way, you know, and that's what you have to be able to do. And I don't, obviously in the first quarter we came out and um, credit Southern, but at the same time, I don't know, I think we came out a little bit too frazzled and needed to just settle and get started, um, kind of like that. And, um, and then I think, I think once we kind of settled down and started to play our game, I think all of a sudden the shots go in, you play defense a little better, and you start rebounding. And, and um, I think I'm really, really proud of our team. I'm proud of the, the two women to our left as well. I thought they both did a really nice job today leading. Thank you, Coach. Let's go to the student athletes for questions for the student athletes. How much, you know, as kind of the second half wore on, uh, the, the end of the third and then kind of the start of the fourth, how much was that more of, you know, what you guys like to do? And, more great basketball after the, the slow start. Yeah, I think the second half we kind of got back to ourselves. Um, and I think it started on the defensive end. I think we were really solid on the defensive end and kind of shutting out um, their their go-to players like Gablehausen was a nice touch for us. But then I think that started our offensive end and got us into more of a flow, which is what we wanted. So. You guys haven't trailed by double digits all that often. But even after the, the slow start, how much, you know, in the huddle and, and getting together, was there, you know, no real panic or anything like that, knowing that um, you guys had the horses to kind of bounce back? Yeah, credit to SIU. I think they did a great job today. Um, you know, and just, like, staying together, like, there's a lot of trust and confidence to our person, to our right and to our left. And, you know, I think just staying steady. Uh, we've been in situations like that in our non-conference and even even in our conference season as well. So. I think it's just taking it one play at a time and don't get too ahead of ourselves. You talked about uh, 19 assists on 23 baskets. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's a fun time to be a Bulldog. I mean, <laughs> like I said, just like we, the comments we have in each other, everyone's willing to pass up a good shot for a great shot. And just the system we have is just so much fun to be in as a player. And it doesn't matter who gets credit for it because we all have a part in it. So it's really fun. This time of year, you know, doesn't really matter how you win, just that you win. But um, what are maybe some couple things you guys might need to clean up uh, heading into the title game tomorrow? I think we just need to stay true to ourselves. I think that's when we're at our best. Um, when we're just really steady and um, not trying to force things, let things come to us. Um, but yeah, like she said, it's just fun to play. And when we focus on having fun, then um, we're at our best. So it's just focusing on us and being us. Any more questions for the student athletes? Ladies, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And additional que questions for Coach Bronchek. What do you see changing, you know, get back more to what you guys do kind of, you know, that push when you, I think it was five point deficit in the way through the third to um, get that back up to the third early in the fourth. Well, I think the more steady we are, kind of like what they talked about, the more the more steady and, and present we can be, and we just focus on one possession at a time, the better we are. Um, and I think you could see that in the second quarter and then as in, in the third quarter. Um, but I do, you know, I do think that we came out and we didn't start necessarily the way that we did. We got rattled, and then we just tried to. What players do is you try to you try to take over and you try to. You know, you want it to happen, and, and everybody had the right idea, um, but we didn't have the right flow. And I think once we kind of got that flow, then it, 
then it doesn't really matter. Now, I also think that we had some players come in and, and make some big plays, too. I thought Hannah Fuller really came in and gave us some great energy off the bench to be able to get that role, um, to get that momentum going, and, and that, I think, really shifted some things. Was there anything in that start that stands out as alarming at all, or was it just kind of how games can go this time of year? Uh, you know, they can go that way all times of year. <laughs> um, but I, I do think, no, I, I'm not alarmed by really anything. I think... I think what you saw today is you found a team that's very experienced, um, that um, you know things don't always have to go perfectly for us to win a game, and and you've got to be able to find up find a way. And I, what I was proud of is, you know, in that second quarter, we got really steady on both ends, and and a lot of times it can snowball a lot longer than that. And so for us to re-steady ourselves in that second quarter, I thought was I thought was really good. Now. I'd like, I would really like us to start better in the second half. I don't think we came out in the second half and started well, so the coaches will take that one, and we've got to be better. We've got to, be, we've got to just have us more prepared to start a lot better than we did today. Can you talk about how difficult you are as a team to guard with the number of weapons you have? Well, it depends on the moment, right? Um, sometimes it feels fairly easy to guard, but I do think, I do think what you, you know, when you, when you listen to them talk about having fun playing and they want to pass and they... You know, they don't care about passing up, a, you know, a good shot for a great shot. They really, that's not just something they say. I mean, when you watch our team and you watch our flow, and we have moments that are really fun to watch. You know, somebody gave me um, this example one time, and they said it as a compliment, and I, I kind of get it. Um, but it's like a, you know, it's like a rec team. You watch people playing rec league, and you see somebody throw it over their shoulder, and you do this, and they kind of smile, and you kind of play, and you cut. Um, and that's kind of what we do. You know, and sometimes we're going to throw it out of bounds, and sometimes we're going to make the right pass. And um, but we want to bring the fun to basketball. You know, and yes, we want to be tough. Yes, we want to rebound. Yes, we want to play defense. But we want our offense. We want them making reads because you know what? They're going to make a lot better reads than I could ever coach. Anything else for coach? Coach, we'll let you get out to scout your Thank next you. opponent. Great.